Olelenku and Kimayo exited the helm of country security docket Tuesday over alleged inefficiency following numerous terrorist attacks that have claimed the lives of many Kenyans. But it was not always doom and gloom for Lenku and Kimayo, as others took to their defense, crediting them for thwarting numerous attacks which they say could have been devastating to the country. Nobody, nobody should politicize security issues. Several transformations which they might have initiated in the police force may have been lost in the face of increased acts of criminality. First was the launch of Nyumba Kumi initiative to help fight insecurity. I want to urge all members of the public to share information. But it was not lost after a long time of campaign to have the security personnel fortified with insurance covers. It was during the 10 years of Lenku and Kimayo that the plan really actualized. Just five months ago, Kimayo unveiled a four-year National Police Service strategic plan that will prioritize implementation of reforms aimed at modernizing the National Police Service. Under the new plan, the police service is to receive an extra 1,200 vehicles for patrols, improved police housing as well as introduction of medical insurance for police officers among other measures. Just last week, Olelenku solidified a multi-billion deal with Safaricom for the rollout of an integrated security system that will see surveillance cameras installed in parts of country to help fight insecurity. The police communication uh, project is uh, finally uh, being executed. We are here to uh, officiate the signing of uh, the contract. And though the two gentlemen had made more enemies than friends during their tenures, in their own way, the two contributed to reforms in the security sector, albeit in a small way. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel One News.